Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're going to talk about injection moulding, going to show you an example and hopefully we can learn a bit about the process. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. So on screen we've got a basic assembly that represents um, the core cavity uh, setup in the injection molded tool um, and it's worth noting that um, in a typical injection molding machine you've got two halves of the mold so in this example here we're looking at um, you've got the A side which is um, fixed um, to one side of a press and you've got the B side, which is um, on the other side of the press and, and it moves. Um, and typically on the moving side of the press is where you would have the ejector pins um, that would help push the part off the mold when the molding process is complete. And um, it's an important part of uh, the molding consideration. You can have the a and B um, sides switched on the mold and it, it does impact um, the tool. So typically the A side um, is known as the cavity and the B side of the mold is known as the core. So on screen now we're going to take a look, um, just going to talk about it a little bit um, and yeah, just try and see how it works. So let's take a look. So if we section the part here, you can see that um, we've basically got the cavity in red. The core is green here. And the actual component part is blue in the center. And um, the ejector pins are here in yellow. So if we pull the mold apart. So the uh, once the molding process is complete and the part is made in the tool, the um, core opens up with the ejectors. And then when it's reached its limit, the ejector pins push in and they will push, release the part off the tool. The part will drop down and then um, the process will repeat again. And, you know, it's worth noting that one, one of the major goals um, in injection molding is sort of speed, cycle speed and um, volume. So this is worth you know, getting in your head that this happens at a um, fast rate. We're just, I'm just depicting it here in this example for clarity. So just to go over it again then, you've got the, um, the cavities here in red and the core is here in green. In this example and so when the mold is closed up you're left with a void the molten plastic is injected in that creates the product when the cycle is finished the um, core opens up and then once it's reached the limit the ejector pins push through push the part off the mold release it mold closes back up and repeats the cycle. What other things can we learn from this example? Um, there's a couple of other terms that I want to talk about. So the parting line is um, basically the um, line or surface that would split the core cavity. So in this example, um, if we go to the side view, The parting line will be this surface here, or this edge of the part. And uh, the parting line is normally where the draft 
transition would be. Um, and that brings us on nicely to draft. Um, this kind of emphasizes um, the importance of draft in your parts. Um, draft is primarily used to aid um, the part releasing from the tool. Um, it's over exaggerated in this part, but as you can see, um, when the ejectors engage, the part, uh, the draft, aids um, the part removal from the tool. So, pretty simple. Um, just wanted to break it down and talk about it this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you next week. Thanks.